in this video we are going to find out how do you find the ranking of the first negative term in an arithmetic progression so let's say you have an arithmetic progression which is given to you as 10 and then is decreasing by 3 okay so you have 7 you have 4 you have 1 then you have 1 minus 3 which is minus 2 minus 5 minus 8 and so on now in this particular series or sequence if you see minus 2 is the first negative term which is appearing right and if you do accounting it is 1 2 3 4 5 it's the fifth term in this sequence right but what if I tell you can you find out the first negative term of a given arithmetic progression where certain data is given to you right so let's say if you have a question which term of the sequence 25 24 1 by 4 23 1 by 2 22 3 by 4 is the first negative term now please note that the nth term of an AP is given by a plus n minus 1 times t right we need to find out this nth term which is negative negative means what it is less than 0 right so whenever you have to find out this first negative term we can find it out by putting this nth term as less than 0 and now what do we need to do we need to just simply find out what is this value of n in this equation for which it holds true right so what is the first term of the AP the first term of the AP is 25 plus n n is what we need to find out so I'll put it as it is n minus 1 into d what is the value of d d can be found out by subtracting the first term from the second one so I would do 424 96 ones are 97 by 4 97 by 4 is nothing but this okay minus 25 or if we take 4 100 as the LCM okay or actually just 4 as the LCM we get 97 minus 25 by 1 100 minus 3 by 4 so the common difference here is minus 3 by 4 into minus 3 by 4 is less than 0 right solving this for the value of n what do we get over here divide this by 1 we get 100 so 4 is the LCM 4 goes into 1 4 times 4 times 25 gives you 100 plus how do we have over here we just get minus 3 into plus n which is minus 3 n minus 3 into minus 1 gives you plus 3 is less than 0 4 when it is multiplied by 0 gives you 0 okay so you have 100 plus 3 so I can just simply write this as 103 minus 3n is less than 0 right or simply 3n is greater than 103 or n is greater than 103 by 3 right this is kind of give, going to give you 34 1 by 3 so the nth term has to be greater than the 34 1 by 3rd which means that it is the 35th term of this arithmetic progression which is going to be the first negative term in this sequence because n is coming as greater than 34 1 by 3 